What is up, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, you know, I wanted to talk about the buff cards that were added, added to the game. The little blue cards you see all over the battlefield. When they first were announced and people first saw them, I saw a lot of people kind of not liking it. Then there were those that were like, hey, it's kind of cool to change it up. People thought it would break the balance or break the game or change things. I really don't think it did. If anything, I think it just added more options and allowed people to really output more damage. The only time I really see them being super powerful is when you really stack them. You know, you get like three or four magic or three or four physical attack ups. You can really do some insane damage, actually. And, you know, the MP ones are kind of nice for MP and that, but at the end of the day, I don't really see them that much. And I don't, you know, if they're nearby, I'll pick them up, but very rarely will I go out of my way to get one. If it's like versus I could attack something this turn or I could walk five spaces over here and get the buff card. I'd be curious to know what you guys think, how you feel about them, if you really felt they made an impact and changed a lot, or if they were just kind of there and... You know, they just existed and, you know, you used them when you did. You know, I really would like to know that because it seems to be pretty mixed in the community. And I also think they were added to make bosses stronger. I don't know why, but I guess they thought bosses were a little weak in the uh, PSP version. I mean, it is true when the boss has the cards on, they do hit you like 10 times harder and, you know, their HP is inflated and things like that. But that's the only real thing I noticed a major difference with the cards is every boss started with a full set and they were usually offensive by nature which would then make the boss just that much more uh, you know dangerous I guess you could say but overall I don't mind them I think it gives you another objective on the field my one thing I do wish though with the green stack cards and I mean I don't know if this was changed from the PSP version it, it might have been but I don't recall having to get so many just for one stat up I swore in the PSP version one card was like one stat. It seems like in this version you need multiples. You need a few before you can uh, get a stat. I think it's like three or four you need. I'd have to double check. But to get a full stat, you need you need more than one. You know, because I remember originally I would get one and I'm like, the stat didn't even go up. I, I think maybe it's two, two or three. I don't know. I'd have to look. But I do wish the green cards actually just gave you one flat stat because, you know, I mean, one's not really a lot to begin with, but... All in all, though, I think the buff cards were good. You know, the red the red one, the cancel one, I don't know any reason why you'd really... You know, sometimes the AI hits that or when you do auto battle, and you're just like, why? Why would you do that? You know, so you lose your own buff, so that's the only downside to the red one. But overall, I think they were a neat little thing. I don't think they really detracted or added too much. They just kind of made the game a little more interesting in certain ways. And I, I was okay with them. I think they were worth it. But let me know how you guys think. What did you think about the buffs? The little cards that were added. Did you like them? Did you hate them? Would you not like to see them in a sequel or another game added in this franchise? And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, later guys. Peace out. Have a good one.